What's up, everybody? It's What's Friday. Up? No, just kidding. It's Tuesday. <laughs> and we are just chilling, taking out Luna for a walk. If you guys haven't noticed, we haven't been recording for about probably two weeks. Uh, we were having trouble with our mobile phone. It was harder to edit the video, and the quality wasn't that great. So uh, we're back. So stay tuned. All right. So we are back, and we are taking our cute little baby for a walk um, so life update we have uh, been experiencing the weaning process and if you don't know what that is uh, then you're a loser <laughs> I could translate it to a the chi chi process <laughs> no the food, cutting the, the chi chi process <laughs> the unchiching process so uh, our daughter is now I'm not gonna be that lame parent where it's like, oh, she's 17 months. Uh, <laughs> no, she is a year and five months, and she is no longer breastfeeding. Ya no le quise dar chichi. I don't want to breastfeed her anymore. So uh, we basically, I uh, hope, what is that method called? It's uh, the brutal method. No, no, it wasn't. Um, we went off of what's his name? Oh my god, I sound like so bad right now because <laughs> I can't remember. I'm having um, okay. So Luna here. did not go from like chichi to a bottle. Luna um, no toma leche, like bottled milk. She basically just uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, you you made it word for it last time. I can't remember what the hell it was. Uh, fuck. It's just like when you just stop suddenly. Oh, like we didn't go cold turkey. Cold turkey, that's what it freaking was. Yeah. Well, we didn't go cold turkey because it was a process like, you know, she started eating a little bit of food um, and then she was she went from eating a little bit of food to mostly just like uh, using it for comfort at night, I guess. Yeah. So, so she was waking me up and she was already a year and I mean this is a month ago okay so a year and four months and she was waking me up like a good three times at night I think the last time that I had a good night's sleep was like before she was born <laughs> <laughs> so we were like no I think she's ready to to wean how did you decide that she was ready um, she was I knew she was ready because um, she was eating really well during the day lots of you know um, what is it called Food, uh, solids, well, yeah, food, but, human food, um, <clears throat> but more healthy choices. She was eating a lot of healthy foods, so I knew she was getting the nutri nutrients that she needed. And then <clears throat> I did start noticing that it, that she just wanted it for like a few seconds, and then she went right back to sleep. So it wasn't really that she was having a full feed at that point. It was just that she just wanted to be latched on. So I mean, it's so cute and everything, but I think it was time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think personally uh, it wasn't that hard I think out of the two weeks there was only two Luna's looking at me like what the hell is puppy looking at <laughs> <laughs> no so, it didn't take two weeks it took a whole month guys oh well, I, started... I mean the whole process like the whole process from you like slowly getting her off of like breast milk and throughout the day and stuff but I guess what I mean is it only took like a week or two to get her off like completely like not needing it at night mm -hmm. or anything like that. Yeah. Um, so the way we started was um, that, according to my research, you're supposed to take one feed a day. And she was still kind of feeding during the day if I sat in places around the house where she usually nursed. So um, that was one of the tips that I got where they said not to sit where I nursed her. So for example, one of our nursing spots was the sofa, like by the TV, and I just stopped sitting there and she was like okay we're not gonna nurse because I, she's not sitting there so then one one week I did that and then the next week I would cut another feeding and and little by little I started cutting the feedings till it, it was just at nighttime that we were having the issue and then I did the nighttime which was a little bit more harder than the daytime because during the day you can offer other snacks and you can change your routine like take a walk or something rather than during the night like she wants it and she wants it you know mariana definitely did her homework on this shit <laughs> i'm a mom <laughs> i'm a dad <laughs> 
So definitely the whole, um, uh, I guess, getting her off the chichi process was definitely not as hard as. W e a n i. I don't like that word because every time I say it, I say like weaning. Like I feel like I'm winning. Or, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I, I think the the first week, the first night was like horrible. She just. I felt horrible for her. It wasn't horrible. Okay, I think we need to give her a little bit of credit because we thought that it was going to be like really bad. Like we were going to get zero um, sleep. sleep and that it was going to be like having a newborn again. Yes, it was It was bad for her, but no, it wasn't as bad for us. So let me explain. This is how our night went. She went to sleep around 9 mm -hmm. and we were in bed where she usually nurses. And then um, we were like, oh no, Luna. Like I looked at her and I'm like, no, Luna, you're not gonna have that anymore, okay? Because, ya no hay, like there's no more. And she looked at me and she gave me like the saddest, <laughs> like pout, and then she started crying. She's like, how dare you, woman? How <laughs> dare you not give me my chichi? And I felt so bad. And th that happened for maybe like 15 minutes. Finally, she fell asleep, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, she fell asleep. She woke up like around three, hysterical. Right? Or did yeah. it take more than, than 15 minutes? I can't remember uh, right yeah. now. It was like a good like 20 Hour? minutes. No. But then like total, like she kept going, like trying to go to sleep and wake up. And it was like a good, I don't know. I felt like it was three hours total. How do you... Really? Yeah. From the beginning? Yeah. Well, I know that, that around, <laughs> there's like this person in the car and I feel like a creeper. I know. We're <laughs> should we pause this? Low key, we're totally like not uh, used to used to vlogging or comfortable vlogging like on the street. <laughs> but it's 2020, and if these people have a problem, then, then they can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> as Just long as I don't put them in the camera and I don't get uh -oh. sued. What was I gonna say? So, anyways, I did. I don't know exactly how long it was for her to initially fall asleep. I can't remember right now, but um, I know that she did wake up like around three o'clock in the morning. And at that point, Mauricio was already sleeping. He needs to wake up early. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to the other room because if you guys know my daughter, or you guys don't, right? They don't. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> my daughter has the loudest, the loudest cry I have ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> so then um, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna take her to her nursery. So I did. I made myself a, uh, like a tendido, tendido, what would that be in, in English? <laughs> like a, a camp out. A tendido? Tende <laughs> <laughs> I um, I like literally put like blankets out so we can just sleep on the floor. And uh, That's a really good question. What is a tendido in, in English? What the hell? I'm gonna search that shit. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you should insert the definition right here. <laughs> um, so anyways, este, what's this thing? Uh, so you made yourself a tendido. Yes, and then Luna finally fell asleep. Like, that was more comfortable than our damn bed. So I was like, okay, since you fell asleep, and it was the point where I would like grab her arm and let, let it go, and she was like knocked out. I was like, okay, she's not gonna wake up. So then I took her back to our room, and I laid her on our bed, and I laid down, and then that was it, guys, for the rest of the night, which was awesome. So then the next day, I was like, okay, it's gonna be bad. Like. We're gonna have to go through the same thing, you know, initially to, to get her to go to sleep again. But no, guys, we put um, like something on YouTube for her to watch <clears throat> for like 15 minutes and she knocked out. M I C K E Y M O U S E. You're gonna get copyrighted oh, for that. Shit. <laughs> well, that's that's what we had to put in order for her to, to go to sleep. Um, what else? What? Well, let's think about. So that was it. What about like. What do you think are like, should we say like You're top like five? too close and personal on my face. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm the one holding the camera and I'm a little tired. So you want me to hold it? Uh, no. What's the, um, should we say the top five tips that you're gonna give a woman that, uh, uh, or a parent, Meaning? a family that's weaning? Okay, first tip would make would be to make sure that your child is ready because you can't wean a baby that's not ready like you are going to be miserable the child is going to be miserable the father is not going to sleep so he's going to be miserable so everybody's going to be miserable if they're not ready that's such a like hard word miserable, miserable. no that is it's it's true 
when you don't get sleep, that's what happens. You I think it's harder on the on the child because the child's definitely not like used to not having its comfort food, and it's like me. If you guys were to take coffee for like the first week, I'd probably be exactly like her. Like I'd be pissy all the time. Probably lose my job. Like my whole life could change. <laughs> what, dude? You're not in the camera. I know, because I'm interviewing <laughs> you. Oh, okay. Low key, I'm a fat ass man. I'm walking. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I could barely talk and walk, bro. Um. Okay, so that was number one. Make so sure what was what was wrap it up? What was tip one? N number one was that. Be, oh, be ready. Be ready. You and the child and the father. You guys need to be ready. Once you guys have sorted out that you guys are ready and you want to proceed, you are going to have to pick a time and place to start this meeting. You're going to have to be like, like for me, it was, okay, I'm going to let the holidays of 2019 go by. And then in January, I'm going to start the whole month. I'm going to give myself the whole month. And this okay, is actually quería, quería professional. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, this is professional advice because I be hella calling Kaiser <laughs> for everything, and they were telling me like, okay, you should do it this way, like spread it out in a whole month. Don't do don't do cold turkey because you're gonna be in pain and the baby's gonna be in pain. I got in trouble from my insurance company because they're like, damn, your wife be calling Kaiser all the time. You see, <laughs> they're sending us hella invoices. <laughs> um, so that was two. So set up. A time and a place. Um, okay, and then three would have to be figure out alternatives, like what you're gonna do to change the child's routine so that it's easier on the child. So, are you going to take a walk like me during the day? I stopped sitting, like I said, on the couch. I um, took a walk with Luna and her stroller, and that was it. That was nap time. So, I a know distraction? It's, yeah, d yeah, okay. distraction. Um, it's not ideal, you know, I'm probably gonna get mom shame for this, but you're Bad supposed mom to <laughs> put the baby and you know in their crib and have them nap there. Like honestly at this point if Luna wants to sleep in her stroller for nap time, that's totally fine with me. So that's what we do. So change your routine, get alternatives like I said, um, make sure the baby is being well fed before going to sleep so that she can, you know, sleep through the night. So tip number three was uh, look for alternatives. Look for t alternatives. That was a big word, huh? Yeah. Busca okay. la alternativa. Four. What could be four? Uh, four. Can I take four? Yeah, you can take four. Uh, sorry. Who's that? I got a call, but I don't know. It could Who's be. Up? It could be my side chick. I'm not going to answer this. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I think tip number four will probably be um, for the dads or the co-parents or or um, I don't know, a stepdad or whoever the partner is, the husband, the lover, to help out. The Sancho. El Sancho, help out with the kid, man. Um, it's not easy. The moms need a break sometimes. And uh, I mean, I've been left alone with Luna and I'm not breastfeeding her, but it's, uh, it's hectic. It's a lot of work. It's, uh, it, could be a, it could be a lot for the mom. And it's also, I think it's also not easy for the mom to just stop breastfeeding because they're comfortable too. It's like their bonding time with yeah, the baby. Yeah, guys. There's such thing as depression after uh, weaning um, off the breast. They say that because of all the hormones that go on while you're breastfeeding. Once that is removed, like your your hormones are like fluctuating. And I was depressed too during the quarantena. <laughs> I was totally depressed. <laughs> My dad is gonna watch this, coach. No. What? I was depressed. <laughs> oh my god, he. Yeah. They drive Uber, guys. My neighbor drives Uber. It's good to know. Um, what was I gonna say? So, okay, and yes, um, what he said about being supportive, guys, it's shown. Well, I've heard from other mamas in my mom group that it's easier when the dad takes over the nighttime feedings and the nighttime routine while you're weaning because um, our boobs are attached to us, guys. Like, if we go in there and we try to put the baby down, she's going to be like, why the hell don't you want to give me? You know what? I've been seeing some crazy stuff, too, where they put, like, like um, band-aids and the baby just, like, rips that shit off. Like, no, you're not going to fool me. Have you seen yeah. those videos? <laughs> oh yeah, they told me to do that. I never tried it, but I, 
I was willing to try anything to be honest if Luna gave me a hard time which we didn't really go on with the story but after that second day guys that was it like yeah she just I didn't have to do none of that whole nighttime routine thing it's not like I wasn't I mean I wasn't <laughs> didn't a, want I, to I wasn't a hundred percent like oh yes yeah, so honey I would definitely help you but <laughs> But I was willing to no, do it. No, he was, he was supportive, but he was nervous. I could tell he was like, fuck, I'm gonna have to be up. <laughs> but <laughs> we didn't even need it because right. the second night she just like went to sleep by herself. By herself. And then it's been like that. And then when she does have like needier days, like I, I like to call it, um, it could be teething or whatever she's going through. Um, she wants to just sleep on my chest and, until she like fully falls asleep. And then I just put her on the bed and that's it. Yeah. So... Mm -mm. I don't know. So not a lot of. So yeah. So tip four is just pretty much if you're the partner, the husband, just help out. Um, it's really sometimes it's just more of moral support. Like you can do it, vieja. Take those chichis <laughs> away. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then tip number. Five, We're probably gonna guys. get arrested right here. <laughs> I know. So tip number five, guys, is for the for the mama. Um, if you pump while you're trying to wean, more production of your milk will come. So make sure that you are um, not pumping, not feeding, and just trying to stick it through for the, for the time being. It only took me, I want to say two weeks? Yeah. Two weeks in total from start to finish to be completely um, dried out, I guess you could, I, I think that's the term. That they use. Cero leche. <laughs> um, it was very painful, guys. I think that it was, it wasn't. I think it was painful, but it was really uncomfortable. Like I couldn't wear certain certain shirts and, and stuff until uh, until the end of of the weaning. But um, definitely, I mean, actually, I did pump once, guys. But you're not supposed to do a full pump. Just, you're supposed to just, just alleviate alleviate the what is it called the engorgement. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that. Um, just stick it through and it's only gonna be two weeks and it's gonna be worth it <laughs> yeah. um, What else? Disclaimer, we are not doctors and we are not chichi experts. We are just <laughs> simply lactation consultants. <laughs> We're not lactation kidding. consultants. <laughs> We're just simply sharing our experience, but yes. Uh, yes, there's definitely things that I guess happen to women where they pretty much get you know Engorge their boobs and then they could have like infections and Which stuff. Which means because if you don't know what that means and if you've never lacted it Setting before. flat on las <laughs> bolas. No, your breasts get really full with milk and then they get so hard that they're painful. You can't lift them, you can't touch them, they freaking hurt. So, um. Uh, Sorry, we're going. Mariana doesn't know how to drive the stroller. Um, <laughs> I don't. So, um. If they get too painful, guys, please seek medical attention <laughs> because it could be that you're getting an infection. But mine weren't like to that extreme, so um, I think that would be the fifth. Just um, take care of yourself. Make sure you don't pump because the more you pump, the more you produce. And good luck, guys, because it is a process. Just where... be patient. Yeah, just be patient. I yeah. think that's what it is. It's like taking crack from a crackhead, like. <laughs> They're gonna, they're gonna have a really hard time in the first few weeks, but then and after that. Believe me, we thought Luna was gonna be like that, like yeah. a crackhead. Like she, I thought she was gonna be, cause mind you, she was already to the point where we, we would, we would be in public, and then she would start like pulling my shirt, like digging, you know, her hand in there, and I'm like, no, girl, like you can do it in the privacy of your own home, but not here. She was like, <laughs> so, give me the power, I beg of you. I know. So yeah. <laughs> so just be patient guys and then enjoy it like if you can if I could have breastfed Luna till she was like 27 I'm just kidding oh, damn. <laughs> no if she was until she was like fully ready and she just didn't want it anymore I'm not saying six years old guys I'm saying like maybe two I would have um, for other reasons I had to stop but I think that um, it was time either way and I'm, I'm doing okay. I feel good. She feels good. We, you know, we still have that bond. So, yeah. yeah. I wish I'm I would like have breastfed her. I wish I would have breastfed her so I could have had that bond with her. She barely started loving me. She's she like, don't love you still. She's Just like, kidding. okay. <laughs> she's, she's like, okay, mom's not giving me chichi anymore. So I might as well cut her with daddy's chichis. Yo. But she does try at night, <laughs> trust me. She tries pinching them. <laughs> Oh lord. 
So I think we're gonna head back inside the house because it's like getting a little too dark out here. But um, anything else we want to talk about since it is a life update? Yes, um, but we will do it right now when we get inside the house because it's getting dark out and we need to start walking faster so we can get in there. So see you in just one second. All right, everyone, so we're back in the house. That was a cool little walk. It felt like it was like five minutes, but it actually was like 20 minutes. So we went on blabbing on, on the whole, uh, weaning the process. whole weaning process. So yeah, we're pretty much gonna wrap that up there. Uh, and we wish you guys luck if you guys are uh, weaning your baby and getting off the breast milk. Um, life update. So yeah, we took a break uh, because on my end, it was kind of hard to edit the videos with, uh, with the, the video coming out of my phone. There was a lot of process that I had to do just to make the quality be like decent and stuff. So we're gonna try and see how this goes out. We made a little investment. I'm like really excited. And she knew that I was really <laughs> excited because uh, we purchased a new Canon camera. It's a uh, EOS M50, which is like, uh, I guess, like the number one camera for YouTube content. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, other than that, we just, uh, it's the usual, just been working and working on our uh, special projects that we also have on the side. So, uh, Mariana is a dance teacher. <laughs> so she coordinates like dances for quinceañeras and stuff. And, and I help her um, by, you know, basically helping her create the dances and by stuff. shaking his butt. Shaking my butt. <laughs> but also by um, trying to, you know, uh, I don't know, Kind of more on the marketing side or advertising advertising and, like and you know kind of getting the plugs and everything so it's work in progress and it's it's a little uh side and hustle it's been ke keeping us busy it's i mean we just started um this little business not that long ago and we are busy until june or actually no past june past, past so june. yeah so we're trying to you know balance everything life parenting working um, school everything so we apologize for being absent but we're back <laughs> yeah so you okay. guys you guys are gonna see us more often now because now we have a special tool that's gonna help us a lot so um, it's gonna make things easier definitely so and it'll make also the video experience nicer for you guys and we got a lot of stuff planned so uh, we invite you guys to be on this journey with us and if you guys are new to this channel you know feel free and and uh, subscribe and like and you know that way you get notified when there's new videos and stuff and if you've already been there with us then we want to thank you for the support whether it's moral support or whatever kind of support it is you know and if you guys want us to make any videos you know we're open for suggestions uh, if you guys have any questions comment down below we'd also just uh, finally like to uh, say hi to everyone uh, you know a lot of our friends we haven't seen in a while because we've been so busy but yeah, there's a lot planned so that we could um, go and spend some time with everyone so anything else no i think we got it all yep so stay tuned for the next video we hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again this is our life to